do people move to Texas for the hunting? Great question. Many of our videos get comments about the hunting in the Texas area. And as often commented and questioned on our channel, uh, why are people moving to Texas? Why are so many people moving to Texas? Where are they coming from? One of the main threads that we've seen is hunting. So depending on where you're moving to in Texas, you can find almost any kind of hunting that North America offers. Now, we don't have every type of game, but we've got a tremendous whitetail hunting community. We've got great fishing. You've got hogs way more than we want. If you want to shoot some hogs, come on down to Texas because we could use the help. Um, and then we've got uh, a, quite a variety of other things. You've got bear in a couple regions and parts of Texas. We've got uh, river fishing. We've got uh, you know offshore fishing. We've got some great lake fishing, uh, bass, catfish, striper. You know when you get offshore, we've got redfish and all sorts of stuff. So we can cover almost the entire gamut. But one of the biggest differentiators isn't just what you can hunt here. It's sort of the freedom and opportunity to hunt it here. Now we've got appropriate regulations and uh, licensing and and things like that. We've got a great, um, you know, game commission. So you've got game management and, and land conservation and safety. Our game warden law enforcement structure here is as strict as any other division of law enforcement anywhere in the state of Texas. Um, and almost every hunter appreciates that because it keeps hunting safe. It keeps it legal. It protects the environment. Uh, there's a massive community of whitetail deer hunters, uh, duck hunting, dove, quail. Again, pheasant, you could go through the entire list. There's a lot of guided hunting here. There's a lot of high fence ranches. There are a lot of game preserves. Uh, there are the there are recreational hunters, meaning someone that only hunts one type of animal seasonally or that doesn't certainly isn't hunting year round every year. But there's also, you know, committed lifelong career family tradition hunters. I threw the word career in there on purpose. Uh, some of the most famous um, television hunting shows have involved parts of Texas and some of the regions that you can reach within a day's drive if you live in Texas. And that includes, you know, everything from the swamps of Louisiana and South Texas, you know, to, uh, you know, deer hunting and birds up north in Kansas and Oklahoma, and certainly a plethora of hunting to the east in Arkansas and Louisiana. So it is a beautiful, beautiful place. It's a big place, but it's a beautiful place to kind of reach almost any kind of hunting you could want. Uh, year round, something is in season. Certainly if you include fishing, and, uh, and you can get within a day's drive to a lot of other really, really exciting hunting. Now, I am in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, in the north part of Texas. I grew up in Houston in the south part of Texas, so I have hunted uh, the border of Mexico all the way up in uh, beyond the northern border of Texas and from deep east Texas out into a little bit of west Texas. Haven't hunted a tremendous amount in far west Texas, so my, my personal experience and knowledge there is a limited a little bit. But... I would argue that hunting is is not a super common primary reason to move to Texas. I think for for some dedicated diehard hunters it is, but it's a second or third tier, you know, number two or number three on the list for a lot of people that are have some job options for transfers and are choosing Texas due to outdoor recreation, hunting, fishing, boating, uh, you know. Uh, farming, ranching, that category of things. So when I say hunting and fishing, we certainly do mean actively, um, you know, taking animals uh, for food and sometimes just for sport, depending on where you, you fall on your motivations there. But there's a lot of that happening in the area. We've had record B and C whitetail deer taken here. Uh, there are some game ranches that will have some exotics. Um, and we certainly have you know, native, it sounds weird, native exotics, meaning they've been here long enough that they are uh, out in the wild, uh, mule deer and all sorts of things. The hog hunting has become one of the most exciting sort of, and I, I'm going to be careful how I word this because everybody's sensitive, but sort of recreational hunts. And what I mean is you might simply pay for a day hunt, go on somebody else's land, shoot some hogs, um, and uh, typically that's not a harvesting opportunity where people are walking away with meat to fill the freezer. Sometimes people do, but they've become a nuisance animal reproducing at such a rate that they're uh, a hazard to farming and ranching and even public lands and sometimes residential lands where it can be really dangerous. Uh, the population is just growing 
uh, too rapidly. Occasionally that happens with coyotes and other animals that can be a threat uh, where there's even local bounties on those animals uh, to protect, you know, sort of the boundary lines and the populations of animals. And to some people, if you're a hunter, you already know this. To some people, that's an uncomfortable topic. But managing the population of a wild herd of animals has always been the case. Uh, and Texas takes that seriously. So if I'm not making my point clearly, Texas is for pro hunters. Uh, we as a state, our government, our, our people, generally speaking, want safe hunting here, uh, want folks learning to appreciate the animals they hunt, to eat them, um, and, and to do that in a safe, humane way, but also to carry on those traditions that many of us have shared uh, throughout our family traditions or that are hoping to adopt uh, as a more sustainable way of living or just as an exciting um, sport to be done ethically and in an honorable way. So, um, back to fishing, there's a lot of guided fishing services here across the state. And again, we have uh, river fishing, we've got uh, freshwater, we've got saltwater, and that includes shellfish and crabbing and just about everything. So, um, there's an exciting uh, plethora, wide spectrum of opportunity if you're a hunter and a fisher person, fisherman um, in, uh, in our region, our state. It's, it's, it's a massive state, right? So there's just a wide variety. But, um, you know, if I would just dip a little bit in outside of hunting and into outdoor recreation and wildlife that would include camping, RVing, a uh, little bit of uh, farming and ranching or ATV uh, recreation, things like that. There's a vibrant community here in the North Texas community for sure. Again, bordering Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and even getting over into Kansas and New Mexico, there's just a lot of great outdoor living and excitement to be done. Back to the main topic of fishing, I mean, hunting and fishing, the state uh, is a big fan. Uh, our, our conservation groups, um, our fishing license and, and, and stamp organizations, our, our tagging and banding programs are some of the best in the world. Uh, yeah, a lot of public land accessible for some very low cost public land licensed hunting, as well as a pretty good, I will say it's gotten tougher, uh, but a pretty good accessibility to hunting leases and still relative to the rest of the country, some relatively affordable land to be purchased for hunting. We've got some incredible lodges uh, and paid hunts. Uh, and again, you're within striking distance of others. So if you live here and do a good bit of your regular hunting in the region, you can then be, you know, a state away, a day's drive away or a quick flight away or a short boat ride away from some even, you know, even more exotic hunting and more variety uh, with uh, just one one state away. So Texas is a wonderful place to be. North Texas is a great place to be here in the DFW area if you love hunting. If you're thinking about making a move to the area, definitely reach out to us. We'd love to tell you more about that, but do your homework. It's a great place to be a hunter, whether you're moving here for that as a primary reason or not, whether it be a job transfer, looking for schools, looking for some more land, more affordable housing. Great. We've got all that healthcare, transportation, job opportunities, and the list goes on, but let's throw hunting on the list as well. If that's an interest of yours, a pastime of yours, or certainly if that's your business, this is a wonderful place to be where you are welcome as a hunter and a fisherman. So let us know if we can help you in any way. Questions in the comments always get read. We'll respond to you there or we'll connect with you offline or maybe we'll shoot another video for you. So check out the rest of our channel and I'll talk to you on the next one.